He thinks Brexit is a dance, a dance basketball players do. versus Italy. Ah, a repeat of the underwhelming and completely one-sided final four years ago. Italy want maximum concentration from their players, but economics graduate Giorgio Chiellini is focused on other matters. Brexit matters. He is a smart man and is concerned about the effect it'll have on the rest of the continent. Facing Chiellini is Spanish striker Nolito. Nolito isn't an economics graduate, but has also been discussing Brexit with the press. He thinks Brexit is a dance a dance basketball players do. If only Brexit was a dance. For the record, this game will be nothing like it was four years ago. England versus Iceland. Now the English players won't recognise many of the names they're playing against, but they will know that of Premier League legend Ida Gajonsson. Now the Iceland manager is no fool. He knows that 37 year old Gajonsson's legs probably can't do the full 90, but just a glimpse of him on the pitch inspires the entire team and entire nation. And the man is one hell of a motivational speaker. He's been inspiring the team since the beginning with epic pre-match and half-time talks. On the other end of the spectrum, Wayne Rooney's been trying his best to do the complete opposite. Apparently, Rooney has had a word with Jamie Vardy, asking him to tell his wife to keep a low profile. Reportedly, he thinks she may be distracting. Right. Let's talk about Mrs Vardy. Apart from the publicity around her wedding, and if you actively follow her on Twitter, she's not actually in the press much at all. But one surefire way to get her all over the papers is to let the media know that you've had a word with her husband. If this story is true, it's the most degrading and ridiculous thing I've ever heard. But I doubt its authenticity. Moreover, Rebecca Vardy herself, yeah, she's got her own name, responded to an abuser on Twitter saying, really, you believe everything you read? Rebecca, we're behind you. Tweet whatever the hell you want. These men are meant to be professionals, dealing with hundreds and thousands of fans and hooligans. If your social media is a distraction to them, then it's them that needs a talking to. And if in doubt, remember the WAG code, WWVD. What would Victoria do? she wouldn't put up with this shit. Watching Rooney's latest press conference was beyond boring. He dropped all the normal repeated media spiel you'd expect, plus a new one that was pretty wonderful. He said, this tournament has proved that teams can beat each other. Thanks for that, Rooney. Meanwhile, the chairman of the FA, Greg Dyke, thinks that Roy Hodgson can lead England to the Euro 2016 trophy. Sure, if we beat Iceland, then all we need to do is probably beat France or Spain, Germany then and win the final. Not much, is it? It's all in the plan, you guys. It's all in the plan. Subscribe, you guys. Okay. What? How should I tell them to subscribe? You need more friends. <laughs> what do you do? How do you do it? Nobody does it well. Could you? No, I just don't. You don't have to like it. You don't have to do any of that. Just subscribe. And then we can chat. I do actually I do want them to comment because I kind of like chatting back to them, everyone. If you haven't already subscribed, you can do that now. Yeah. Ow, my legs. Oh, that really hurt. Oh, ready? Yep. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm done.